As spread of COVID-19 continues throughout the country, demand for medical ventilators could skyrocket. Many are worried about potential shortages. WCCO's Aaron Hassanzada spoke with a doctor at the U of M who says he created a simpler, cheaper ventilator that could save lives. I called him and I said, I think we can build a ventilator. What do you think? When University of Minnesota anesthesiology fellow Dr. Steve Richardson came up with the idea to make his own emergency ventilator last Sunday, his first call was to his friend, a biomedical engineer. And we just went to work. I went to the operating room at the university, uh, tried some things out. We had a 19... 50s or 1970s textbook looking at, okay, what are the designs we could realistically make here? By 5 p.m. the same day, just hours later, Dr. Richardson had a simple, effective working prototype. It was time to see if he could scale it. From there, it just took off. Uh, I basically called up companies and said, I'm an anesthesiologist. I'm working on an emergency ventilator for coronavirus, and I need to talk to the CEO. Private companies answered the call, offering equipment, manufacturing, and engineering expertise. People have just been working round the clock every day since Sunday morning, and we have a ventilator that I would be comfortable being anesthetized with. The path forward now hinges on an approved pathway from the FDA. If they give the green light, Richardson says he could produce some right away, hundreds in two weeks and thousands in three weeks. When fully scaled, the cost would be one-tenth of a typical hospital ventilator. This need could come at us extremely quickly. I couldn't think of anything more important to be doing right now at this moment in time. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. If you would like to donate supplies or money to help with the project, you'll find a link on WCCO.com.